Hi, this is Gail, and we're at the Graham household today here at Sauter Village, and we're going to teach you how to make butter within your own home. First of all, the ingredients that you're going to need is you're going to need some heavy whipping cream. As you know, cream is a byproduct of your whole milk. Um, salt, if you'd like to do a dash of salt to enhance the flavor of your butter curds a jar here that you're gonna need, and some folks use marbles in there to help with the agitation of the jar, as you can see here. And I have taken some cream. It needs to be at room temperature. If it is cold, you will end up having whipping cream, so it needs to be room temperature. The next is I've poured in about a cup of heavy whipping cream in here. And I've already started the process where I have a marble in here in my jar. And I have been shaking it, as you can see. By the agitation of shaking this, what's happening is, is those fat little guys that are in here, they're like balloons with shards of glass. And so when you agitate them, they burst open and all those fat little molecules are gonna collect together and it's going to take you a good five minutes of shaking very, like as you can see what I'm doing here, you can actually do an exercise out of this if you want to get some muscles built up. And then once it starts shaking, you can see it's getting kind of foamy. That means that you're getting closer and closer to those fat molecules collecting together to where you finally get the end results. When you hear this clunking noise, sounds like a rock. I'll open this up. And you can see all the fat, if I can get it open, has collected together. And you can tell there is all the butter that has collected together. And that white stuff is buttermilk. So you want to save your buttermilk, which I've done here in a glass jar here. And you need, we're going to separate a little bit. I'm going to pour this little bit of buttermilk in here. Now when you're doing this at home, you're going to need some cold water to rinse the butter curds to get all that buttermilk off of there so it doesn't spoil. This is where your salt comes in, and you can put a little dash of salt. We'll just throw this in here if I can get it to come out. Maybe. I'll use my butter hands here to help get it out. So, that's why it's easier if you just leave it in the jar to rinse it out. And so, as you're rinsing your buttermilk, your butter curds from your buttermilk, you can see here, is I'm moving and shaping this around. This was called a butter bowl and a butter paddle. And once they got this all rinsed out with water, then they would use their butter hands, because your hands get warm, they would form and shape this into a nice sized bowl of butter that you would put on your table. Historically, on Sunday, they would have used a butter mold. And on the bottom here, you can see there is a shape and a design. Each family, it was like a trademark, had their own insignia to let people know that this butter came from their household. And don't also to forget to save your buttermilk because we are going to put in a buttermilk biscuit recipe for you to make at home with your kids in the kitchen. And thank you for joining me today. Everybody stay healthy and stay safe. Coming to you from Sauter Village and have a great day.